try to tell them, but ain't nobody listen. Ain't nobody listen. I try to tell them, but ain't nobody listen. Ain't nobody listen. I try to tell them, but ain't nobody listen. Ain't nobody listen. I try to tell them, but ain't nobody listen. Maybe they listen now, huh? Ain't nobody listen. I picked the mic up and never put it down. Had a dream of repping the town. See, spring seems slow, but we get around. Please believe we on that ass like a hound. Who would've known that same silent nigga would be victorious cause he triumphed, nigga. I try to tell him, but ain't nobody listen. Grind mode classified in that position. The game's a baby, and yes, I'm sitting. Want my family papered up, I'm on a mission. They used to say you ain't catch nothing. Stop fishing. Stop fishing, you better off just whipping in the kitchen. But I got that bait, now everybody listen. Bless divine intervention. Your boy got Geechee. It's funny because everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your boy B I G L A Z. And pretty much we back for another movie review. But today we ain't gonna be doing a movie, it's gonna be doing a TV show. And a TV show that I re recently watched was the From Dust to Dawn TV series. Uh, pretty much the TV series. Uh, it's a Netflix original. Uh, if you're a fan of the movie, which I am, man, uh, that's one of my favorites, man. And you're going to find out I have a lot of favorites. But that was one of them uh, that I fell in love back then with, uh, you know, Robert Rodriguez, Quentin Tarantino, one of, you know, one of the Tarantino films that I do love. And he actually in the original, uh, well, the movie. Uh, you know, they had little straight to video movies, you know, from the second one uh, to the third one. And then they came out with this TV series. So this TV series pretty much, man, is, is the first season. I loved it. It pretty much dived into the movie, which I love. And you have pretty much, you know, you're following the Gecko brothers, you know, Seth Gecko, Richie Gecko, uh, which in the movie, Seth was uh, played by George Clooney. And then um, Richie was played by Quentin Tarantino. So in this one, pretty much it follows the, the, the brothers, you know, they robbers coming across a family. Um, and still in a Winnebago to a trailer and uh, taking them down to Mexico because they run it from the cops and pretty much end up at, at the Titty Twister, which is a bar down there in uh, Mexico, somewhere down there, uh, which, you know, eventually you find out it's filled with vampires and, you know, just a whole night of them trying to survive the night. Pretty much that's how the first season kicks off, you know, it goes into that. So it has you relive pretty much, you know, the first movie as you... Or at the Titty Twister with the Gecko Brothers. After that, you dive into Santanico, uh, which is uh, who was played by Sama, uh, Selma Hayek. Um, and it's played by somebody else in this one. But like I said, uh, they dive into that realm. If you ever watch the movies, you had the Titty Twister on top of a Mayan pyramid, which, you know, they kind of dive into that where you get a, a backstory on why it's there, what's going on there. And it's pretty much like the base of the vampires and what, you know, went down. So they go into it, man, and they dive into it a little deep with this uh, TV show. Uh, for one, they're really not vampires, but they are. So according to like the Mayans um, history, you know, you know, they got like the Culebras, I guess you want to say, which they are like uh, blood sucking snakes they kind of that's what they look like you know they don't really look like how we know vampires to be you know from blade and all that stuff and yeah so pretty much they look like snakes but they vampires in a sense uh in the movie is a little bit different you know they, they could die from sunlight in the movie but in this one just the sunlight hurts them um and yeah it's, it's like i said it's different uh, they have your boy will durant grandma <laughs> you no know, wilmer valderama you know, from that 70s show, you know, from Yo Mama to Madre. Uh, so it has him in there, man. And he's, a, a, you know, a clever as well. Got his backstory. Also, it has other people uh, from the movie making a special appearance as well uh, throughout the whole show. So, yes, man, I would say, man, give that a check out. Uh, it's pretty good uh, for a TV show. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a Netflix original and... Three seasons, 13 episodes. They each an hour long. Uh, so yeah, put some time away to check that out. If you're looking for something to watch, that's something to watch. And especially if you're a fan of the, you know, From Dust to Dawn uh, movies and, you know, you just like vampires and things of that nature, the supernatural. So that's going to go ahead and be it for Couch Potato. Tune in again. And you know, I'll let you later. Peace.